intended for mature audiences only, so your mom is definitely invited. Sometimes controversial, always engaging. It's the podcast that lets your voice be heard. It's the podcast that shouts you out. Don't like it's time to holler. Can you dig it? I could eat a unicorn one day through a pop tart. I like toaster sugar. You like Disney Park? Yeah, I like the way it explodes. You like it? And to swallow it down. Oh my God. Your tweets, snaps, Facebook comments, and even phone calls. Holler any way you want. I used to give kids opiates to keep them quiet. This is much <laughs> less offensive than that. JD, Brian, and Gracie, holler at your boys. Damn it. Oh, my sherry amor. Uh, that's the only, those are the only words I know. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is JD Short. You can hit me up on all social media at JDSHORT. And that's it. Podcast over. Bye. <laughs> it's been real. Just kidding. Uh, uh, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Holler. It's the podcast that shouts you out on the internet. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Make sure if you're here, you're sharing us on your Facebook wall. Let's have some fun. We're chilling out. Uh, we're hanging out on the internet with everyone in the world if we, if they're, if they were here. Uh, it's going to be fun, and we've got some really cool guests here, and we're going to talk all about that in a second. But before we go on with that, I'm going to talk about my boy Brian. What's up, Brian? How you doing? Hello, Nation. What is up? We are so glad to be here this evening. Um, I, I'm telling you, I was asleep like 15 minutes ago, it feels like, so I'm going to wake up live on the show while chugging whiskey and beer. It's going to be fantastic. And just like that, Gracie's video cuts out. I'll tell you what, guys. Holler is is here and live, so we're just going to skip the Gracie intro. We're going to go straight to the boys. You know what? If, if we're not anything... We're, we're at least consistent. We're right? consistent. We are consistent. <laughs> Gracie's going to bitch in the pregame at us. We'll she, her video is going to go out at one we'll point, possibly her audio. She's going to blame us for stuff. I don't know. Whatever. It's all good. Anyway, Gracie, her, Gracie's here. She'll be here. It's all good. She, look, says, she, has, oh, a, she has a comment up on here. This is from Gracie. It says, guess what? My laptop has died. We haven't even made it through the intro yet. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you, that's what chargers are for. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to the show. And uh, speaking of welcoming to the show, we would like to welcome Mason and Josh of Exclaim Records. Uh, the boys are back in town. Or should I say the boys are in town because Exclaim the Records is a... Left town. Quite, you know, the boys never left town. That's right. This a very, very fresh West Virginia independent record label plus PR plus management thingy. Also, kick ass party throwers, all that good stuff. What's up, Mason Josh? How y'all doing? Doing good, doing well. Yeah, doing well. happy to be here. Awesome, thank you so much for coming. We're going to talk about Exclaim and the artists you're working with and the stuff you've been doing recently, the stuff you're planning on doing in the future. And uh, all that good stuff. And we're going to drink a bunch of alcohol if, if we got it, if you want to. And um, we're also going to do some shots fire. We're going to play some games. We're going to um, – we got poll questions that we we're, sent out to Holler Nation. We're going to get Gracie off the screen right now. I'm going to rearrange the screen. That's for sure. Bye. Bye, Gracie. We'll see you in a bit when you come back. She'll she'll show up. It's all good. I mean, she's still here with us in spirit. She's commenting on our <laughs> live video. <laughs> Great. What's a charger? What's a charger? Uh, well, crazy. obviously, before we do anything, we got to do a toast. That's how we start the show off. And I believe, Brian, you are the man for the job for that one. So yeah, I'll, I'll lead the way for the Holler Toast this evening. We, then we're going to talk uh, to Exclaim Records. We're going to hear what they're all about. Um, I really wish Gracie were here for this. Gracie, I, I hope that you're here I mean, in spirit. You're really missing out. I guess Rest she's here. People. She's watching it on another device or something. But she's, yeah, <laughs> Guys, awesome. use this time to, to share this live stream to your Facebook walls. Uh, if you're out there listening to us, please get this on your Facebook walls. We would really appreciate it. I'm going to tell you how to win some camo right after this, by the way. Okay, holler toast. Let's kick this thing off. <clears throat> Bob ran out of gas, and a bee flew in his car window. Are you out of gas, said the bee? Yes, said Bob. Give me a minute, said the bee, and flew away. Minutes later, the bee returned with the entire hive of bees who all flew into his gas tank. Moments later, they emerged. They said, try it now. Bob and the car instantly started. Bob said, wow, what did you put in the tank? BP. B. Uh, sorry, we'll just start the show. Sorry. Okay. Link up at officialholler.com. Sorry that you guys had to go through that. Not enough right. alcohol in the world, Brian. Jesus. Mm -mm. No, certainly not. 
hey, we got Mel in the house, Mel on the West Coast. So she always gets here. It's it's earlier over there than it is here. Ain't that right, Mel? So we Mel could be on the she could be driving the on the on the four hundred four or whatever. Like that's the I don't know whatever I don't know I don't know any of those interstates in California. Or she, could be, she could be driving on the. We can bring it down the floor. Straight up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh shit! Well, hey, Mason, Josh, Exclaim Records, what is happening? What's 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 going on? Can you tell us a little bit about what the hell Exclaim Records is? Take it away. All right. So, <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so, Exclaim Records um, is a group that we kind of started because you know Mason and I have both been in bands for a while. Mason much longer than me, but. Um, we just kind of noticed that like in our area, there's a really strong emphasis on certain types of music and like zero emphasis on other types of music. And so we're kind of trying to level that playing field a little bit and give some artists that we really believe in and um, that we really want to see get the recognition that we feel like they deserve. Um, you know, we're trying to push those people and trying to push music like that. Because I mean, like I honestly, before we really started to get the ball rolling on this. I had no idea what a good hip hop scene that we actually have around here, but like nobody really knows about it because like those guys, for whatever reason, like are just aren't getting shows and there's not, it doesn't seem like, you know, their promotion is reaching as far as some of the other stuff. And so like, we're kind of trying to stand in that gap. Not that we are, you know, just a solely a hip hop label cause we're definitely not. Um, but just kind of trying to stand in the gap for, you know, music that's not getting attention, you know, some hip hop, we've got some alternative rock, um, you know, some more indie stuff and just trying to get that out there and trying to get, you know, people who we know are good musicians just noticed, um, you know, trying to just put our effort into that, use our connections, our skills to make that happen. Nice. So like, you know, when we talk about, you know, independent music, you know, that's kind of the world now uh, you've got your Drake's, you know, and you're the weekends and stuff like that. Uh, but then, I mean, Billy Eilish came up independent. So anybody right. can come up and, on, you know, in, in crazy world and everything. And then when we take it into markets like West Virginia and the tri-state area, which is which where y'all are based out of, based out of the same area that we are, we're, we do this podcast in Huntington, the beautiful, wild, wonderful Huntington, West Virginia. It's birthplace podcast and uh, all that good stuff. But, uh, you know, around here, it's it's like, you know, obviously, the, probably the biggest artist from this area is Tyler Childers. We could all probably agree with that. And that being that Appalachian style music, but people don't realize that people around here make everything. And I'm, I'm really, really glad that you guys are in the scene and help them put that stuff together. We've been seeing y'all doing shows at the Loud, uh, formerly the V Club, um, the Woods, you know, all that kind of kick ass stuff. Um, you know, what, what artists do you guys work with? Like who, who's on your repertoire and, um, you know, who's been doing stuff recently for, with you guys? Um, most of the people we've been working with really lately, like the most recent releases we had, uh, we just dropped a single with Mr. Awful last week. Um, and the features were uh, Bunny Money and Zeroger, um, who's a friend of mine who's a producer and a DJ and stuff. And I do a lot of DJ stuff with him a lot of the times. Um, and then uh, beyond that, we also had uh, Stop Believing, the uh, 40 track release, the hefty boy 40 track release from Glass Diaper. Um, that's right. <laughs> He's got it. He's repping it. Um, and then also. Yeah, hey, uh, hey, Brian, can, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but anytime, hey, you hear, anytime you hear Brian, the phrase Glass Diaper, can you hit the air horn, please? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Perfect. Yes. That's the way yes. it's supposed to be. Yeah. That's honor. Yeah. Yes. yes. There we go. So, so, what was, oh, again, yeah. What was the last release, the the big 40 track one? And who was it again that did it? Stop Believing by Glass Diaper. Can I There's get no it? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I was too busy <laughs> dealing with Gracie. Gracie, <laughs> <laughs> I, I Gracie gotta say, I got hold on. You guys have to know this because you guys don't get to see this, but where I'm the host of this, I watched Gracie come in and out like three times and I refused to put her into the live show until she was a good girl and just stayed put. And then now, now she's here. So I don't know if she's going to disappear again. I don't know what the fuck's going on over there with her. A little Cheers, weird. Gracie. Cheers. 
Gracie, you make me drink this whiskey. Damn it. Oh, it's going down tonight. Um, By the way, what is glass diaper for those that don't? Please, those that aren't for the love of area. God. I asked that last week or something. Hit the fucking button. <laughs> Every time glass I'm diaper like, comes up on the show, you gotta hit the button. It's like I've pulled the fucking Jenga and I'm the T-Rex arms and I keep fucking forgetting that I'm T-Rex arms. Glass diaper, uh, guys, please explain this to people that are that are watching from the West Coast, have no idea what we're talking about when we say glass diaper. What is a glass diaper? Please elaborate. Uh, you explain. Okay, you're so, here in the universe. So Glass Diver is um, a music project. Um, that I would can, say it's a mixed media project. Oh, yeah. That's actually probably more accurate. A yeah. mixed media project um, that it just spans a lot of different styles of music. It spans a lot of different styles of music video. Um, we have kind of a collective of um, three of our buddies who um, – just kind of get together and write some just crazy, awesome, off the wall songs about honestly. That's any number. Of stuff. I mean, that's the best explanation for Glass Diaper. I think that you have to experience it either in person. I mean, or there's even a, elements of performance art, like coming yeah, to the no, show. I would say it's definitely strong for like, sure. There's, yeah. there's, there's so much. Like everything means something. Like even if you think it doesn't, you'll walk away entertained. Something. <laughs> yes, you definitely will be entertained. Like there's there's a whole narrative, there's a whole story, you know. If you really dig in and you get into the minutia of the material, it's very rich and beautiful. I'm looking and, forward to the uh, unabridged like volumes, but like the basically going to be the the glass diaper bible. Yes. Oh yeah, we there. can't wait to release that. We, it's uh, on the slate. It's in the works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so uh, let's go back to some of the artists that you got. We kind of got we, <laughs> yeah, we, hit the, we hit the glass diaper bump, and, got, yeah, yeah, thank you. and <laughs> so yeah, uh, you were talking. So, uh, you were talking, you said, uh, glass diaper, you got Zeroger, and you are also DJ Drunkle, right? Mason? Yeah, correct, yeah, and, and then y'all two work together and collab and, and play a lot of stuff, sets together, right? Yeah, yeah, we do a lot of like DJ sets and stuff like that together. Um, it was something like we like started as like just like a we got asked to do it like the woods one time, and it was a really good time. So we just kept doing it just whenever the opportunity swung our way. It's not something we like really like hone in and practice on too much. It's just like fun yeah, little party, a way to get out there. But uh, yeah, as far as other artists that you're working with, exclaim, tell us about like some recent signees and 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 stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, most recent signing is Allie. Yeah. Um, Allie Fletcher. Um, she's been playing shows for like a decent while now around like the, mean, the scene and stuff. But yeah, she's been doing um, stuff forever. But like, she's definitely somebody that deserves a lot more exposure and shine on like the stuff that she's like doing capable of and all that. So we're excited to uh, get her in the studio soon and uh, knock some stuff out and get it out to the people. Um, but yeah, aside from her, um, she was our most recent signing. But yeah, we got her, like I said, Mr. Awful, Glass Diaper, um, Zeroger, me, DJ Drunkle. Uh, we got Josh's project, Launchpad. Um, uh, we have Long Lost Somethings. We don't have any releases with them currently. That's another project uh, Josh is involved in. Um, we're excited to get some stuff from them soon. And uh, Lumpy. Lumpy Nihar. Uh, he's a, a fella from uh, Logan. Yeah, he's Logan. well. He lives in Crosslands now. Crosslands, yeah. yeah. Um, he plays in another band called Routine Days too. Uh, Avery Thomas, they're really good. For those of you that know the Sweet Boy, yeah, the good old Sweet Boy. Um, well, that's awesome. Um, so, like, are you got so being a record label, you'll have to be in charge of you know uh, releasing the songs and releasing the albums, releasing the EPs, that kind of stuff. Um, and also the PR and everything that kind of goes with it, um, that kind of thing. Um, so do you do exclusively digital releases? Or are you also uh, doing, uh, oh, Jasper's coming here, by the way, and saying Mason Hart bit my ear off while he was fucking me. Unsubstantiated. We don't know. I remember it. I mean, I remember it. It was... I thought he was having a good time as well, but I don't know. The delivery seems a little dry. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> Thank you, 
so yeah uh back to that um you know obviously digital releases but are you guys also doing like vinyl cd tape anything like that or any plans to do anything like um, that maybe in the future the we, merchandise we situation. Yeah. yeah yeah i mean i think we definitely like to move into like physical like merch and stuff like that i mean i think goods like t-shirts and stuff of that nature is probably going to come first but i mean we definitely want to get into like stickers yeah like vinyl mm -hmm. and tapes and stuff like that we talked about tapes a while back but i mean like just trying to see what's most viable and most productive to the people that are associated with us at the moment i mean because oh, yeah. i think like our biggest thing was trying to get like studio time and promotional stuff and that's what i so think you're that's building, yeah, yeah you're we're building up trying your to focus. yeah yeah we're gonna try to focus more on doing releases like now that we're getting a little bit more clear about like who our people are going to be and you know what kind of time we're able to put into things and what everyone's schedules are and all that kind of jazz. Nice. So, I mean, yeah, we all still got lives. We still, we're still going to live them. But I mean, hey, you bring up t shirts and stickers and stuff. Those are all promotional material. I mean, that literally is stuff right, that yeah. puts people's names and, you know, in people's heads and stuff. So that's great. Um, how did you guys settle, come up with the name for Exclaim? Like, where, where did you come up with the name Exclaim Records? What's the significance of that? Uh, I think, like, just, like, the naming of itself. I liked the, the title just because, like, I think it's it places automatic importance on something, whether yeah. regardless of the subject, it's just, like, this is this, is this thing. It's got to be big or whatever. Like, so one of our goals, like we said earlier, is really trying to bring attention to, like, these artists that aren't, getting that and like what's the the whole purpose of an exclamation point is to get your attention and get you to focus on like what i am saying and what is happening is important yeah i was looking at like a lot of like iconography from like bands like justice and like chick 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 and just like those like big strong symbols and stuff like that i kind of like the exclamation point because it's just like this you know poignant thing like that so oh, yeah like, we got one in our logo too you see it's yeah over there. yeah Y'all get uh, it. You know, the significance, man. You know, I right. get it. That's hey, awesome. this is a this is a good time for me to mention, fellas. Um, if you do start getting into the into the vinyl and cassette tapes, which by the way, I think are really cool for for some indie music and shit these days. If you start getting into that, there is a really, really cool uh local. We've had them on the show before. They're called Lo-Fi DIY Records. They're based out of Beckley. You guys should go add them uh, or at least follow their page on Facebook yeah, and see sure. some of the yeah. stuff that they spit out. They spit out some like amazing looking cassette tapes and everything. And they would certainly uh like to collab with with a group like you and and that way oh, yeah. everybody wins and nobody has to uh load a huge a, a huge cost burden right now. You know what I mean when we're all yeah, yeah, kind of just sure. Yeah, and also, I mean, like, there's just the benefit of just, like, keeping it, like, local and regional, I think. It was That's what I wanted to say. Keep it local and tell them Holler sent you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah for can sure. You say, can you say that name one more time, Brian? It's it's Lo-Fi DIY Records. So that's L-O-F-I and then DIY Records. And you'll you'll find gotcha. them on there. Um, yeah, as a matter of sure. fact, they're on our YouTube and, and things like that because we, we just had them on not too long ago. They're based out of Beckley. Yeah, I got them. I got them. I got them. Yeah. You, know, you got to see some of their work. Page, they're, a like. Yeah, they're spitting out some like amazing, uh, like I said, cassette tapes, and and they're they're looking to start getting into vinyl. But they do all kinds of stuff, um, all kinds of neat little you know craft stuff that like it sounds like the one area where you you guys like have not dipped your toes in yet. That's exactly right. what they do. Yeah. So it's a good yeah, concept. For sure. Yeah. Um, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, no problem. Like I said, tell them Holler sent you. They'll they'll appreciate that. Oh, yeah, um, we've sure. already went over like most of the artists on your label because I was going to ask like, do you have a head count like exactly how many are on uh, under Exclaim right now? We Roughly. have nine right right now. Cool. I think that's yeah, super cool. Like you know, sometimes it's hard to balance um, all those different uh, personalities and uh, all the different stuff going on. Have you guys ran into any drama yet? Like, just keep it real. What's the most dramatic thing that you ran oh. into? Uh, could it be, uh, could it be Jasper down here? Jasper's back. He says, Josh oh. promised me a record deal if I spit on a picture of my dead son. I didn't have the guts, and he pushed me down the stairs. That sounds dramatic. I mean, don't come if you're not going to come correct. Like, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mel says, you got my attention. <laughs> Um, but, uh, no, we did have Mr. Awful steal trademarked property of glass diaper yeah. and, uh, <laughs> glass diaper wanted that to be known. They wanted, they wanted blood as well. They really blood. wanted blood over that. Um, sauce boss was, uh, tread ground and, tread, and, and Mr. Awful decided to retread it. And it's, it's <laughs> a little ugly. 
It's a little ugly. But. And, you know, here I am. You know, I love these names. It sounds like we're in some kind of fucking terrible cartoon battle. It's like Sauce Boss versus Mr. Awful versus the Glass <laughs> Diaper. <laughs> and, you know, here I am stuck in the middle because, for those of you who know, um, in our performance art pieces and in our music videos, I portray the Sauce Boss. That, that's a character I portray. That's a character that I embody. And, so it, you know, it's, here, here it's close to the chest. Yeah, this, but, this you know, I represent you know Mr. Awful, you know, with a record label. He's a near and dear friend, and then you know, here I am, you know, part somewhat of a part of Glass Diaper, and really close friends with those guys. And it's just like, but but also, I mean, what am I? I will say, Sauce Boss is not an exclaim release. It's an awful international true. release, is, so we can kind of that, wash our hands of that situation. Walk that, away. That's how well, I, ability I shifted. Is Sauce Boss, is, Sauce Boss is the name Sauce Boss inspired by the the hats at B Dubs that you, they give you the crowns that say Sauce Boss on them? You couldn't ask you have to ask Mr. Awful. You got to get him yeah. on the show. Okay, gotcha. Fair enough. Hey, before right. before I get a little bit weird here, as part of our last little questions for you, um, I want to let everyone know that we are proudly powered by Camo Complete Energy. These energy shots are amazing, and they actually make some sleepy time shots as well. This one has valerian root in it. So if you have trouble sleeping, you take this one. You want to get through your work day or fuck shit up on the weekend, you take this one. Um, yeah. I'm not drinking this one right now. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> bit too late for that. But um, we are going to give you a chance to win some camo complete energy right now. So those out there that are that are watching this, if you will share this live video to your Facebook wall and then send us a DM with your mailing address, we're just going to mail you a variety pack of camo so you can sample some of their amazing product. And even if you've done this a million times, just to keep us organized and help us out, please just... Uh, send us your send us your address every time you DM us, along with the proof that you share it to your wall, and then uh, we'll we'll make sure we get this mailed out to you. If if you have some camo winnings pending from uh, last week, we had a lot of winners go out. Those are still uh, being processed right now, and so if you win again tonight, we will double your order before it gets to you. You have our yeah, words. We, so, we, yeah, we a live we, video. We a, lot, a whole lot away. <laughs> we gave away week. like I don't even know how many cases of, of camo last week on the show. More, we had camo than, I don't think we've ever done on one episode before, but we we keep it. We keep we keep the camo flowing in this place, guys. What wanna, did you? Uh, if you want to no, check ahead, them out, to, I was just gonna say if you want to check them out, go to camoenergy.com. Uh, you can order it straight from there. You can learn more about the product. Mm. Uh, it's local as well. Mel's in the house. She says she loves camo. Mel's She's our number one up. camo winner. She's she's just been winning over and over and over again. Uh, we just keep the supplies going to her, and we will do that for you too if you uh, if you help us out. And Share it to your wall, Mel, and DM us. We'll double up your order when it when it gets shipped out. Um, Lily out there says, "Exclaim my ass!" So exclaim, <laughs> exclaim is uh, clearly like bringing like uh, quite the quite the unique following, that's, that's which is what sister. we really appreciate. <laughs> no, it's all good. You don't have to call her like that. Um, she says, uh, "Glass diaper." actually owns sauce boss so there you go uh sorry i'm one button away That's who owns the sauce boss um guys real quick uh let's all laugh about this before i play something funny um what did you guys think about the facebook shutdown uh what was your like what was your what was your instant reaction when facebook was like shut down for a solid like i don't know like eight hours what'd you guys think what am i supposed to do with the rest of my work day <laughs> <laughs> I was off that day and thinking that I really needed to make some posts for Exclaim. And then I was like, oh shit, I don't have to do it now. So there it goes. Nice. I like it. J JD, what, what did you, th before I say this, JD, what did you think about it? I broke out in a cold sweat. I, um, I threw up a lot. Um, I, let's see, what else? Uh, I had a big fever. I lost my sense of smell and taste. Wait a second. JD, I had COVID. I think something else happened. <laughs> no, fuck. Actually, what was great was I was getting on Twitter and I was just like making fun of it. I was like, hey, so it turns out if uh, they delete all their uh, misinformation and uh, super xenophobic posts, uh, there's just nothing on Facebook anymore. So that's what happened. <laughs> Gracie, what do you think of it? Well, you're not going to be shocked, but I had no idea Facebook was down until Nathan told me because I was at work. So I can't really Facebook at well, work. I guess. But I did get on Twitter a lot. But wait, 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 wait. Okay. But I got on Twitter and my favorite tweet from the Facebook shutdown was someone saying, well, now we can get out and do something. I wanted to be like, bitch, you're on Twitter. What do you mean now you're going to get out and do something? You're literally on another form of social media. Walk away. <laughs> Walk away from the phone. 
I, so what I was going to say was, I think this is hilarious that we are like, we're discussing this, like, where were you during the Facebook shutdown? It's it's like the, where were you during 9-11? That's what it feels like we're talking about. Like, what, what were you <laughs> thinking when the oh, Facebook geez. went down? Um, I, so I, yeah, I, uh, I just made a bunch of, uh, <laughs> that's as far as I can take it. I just made a bunch of really silly memes and posted them. I shit post them all over Twitter. And as long as Facebook was going to be down, I was going to keep making memes. Like I made one of like uh, Heath Ledger's The Joker. And I and I said, uh, it's simple. We kill uh, the Facebook. You know, just I made a bunch of just <laughs> shitty ass memes. And I was just shit posting away. And I was loving it. And someone was like, but Brian, what if all of your photos disappeared? I've got photos of my like animals and my, and my uh, you know, family and stuff and i was like fuck it i if 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 that's what it took to take facebook all the way down which is hilarious because we use it to stream our live show right now obviously but like if it all went down i would sacrifice all of my photos i don't give a fuck take it all down take it all down i don't care i'm a twitter guy all day anyway but um anyway. <laughs> that's, 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 yeah, take it all down but i'll just use the other thing <laughs> I'll just use it. Yeah, I like I like Twitter. Twitter's like the wild, wild west. It's like we were welcoming all the Facebook users that were like, what's going on in this Twitter verse? What the hell is happening out here? Um Anyway, Facebook I want to play you guys some audio. Here. That's a that's a whole different no, ballpark. That's are, a whole different ballpark. <laughs> uh, like I'm gonna play saw. you guys some audio, so we all have to be quiet for this. But this is a girl. I, this is so fucking funny that I just had to share this on this show. We can react to it, and then we can move on to Holler Nation, which is what the show is all about. This is a girl describing the worst date that she's ever been on. So here we go. What's the worst first date I've ever been on? I'm so glad you asked. I'm going to tell you right now. Before I met my smoke show of a husband, I was on dating apps. As you do, this man messages me out of the blue and he goes, I like your face. Let's go get some food. Um, I love food. Are you my soulmate? He says, meet me at my house. I will drive us to the restaurant together. Why did we not just meet there? I have no idea. I drive 45 minutes to his house. He's standing outside of it. He walks up to my car and he goes, I've lost my keys. Can you drive us there? Should I have just left him right there and gone home? Yes, did I? Absolutely not. He gets in, starts giving me turn-by-turn -turn directions. He could have been leading me to an abandoned warehouse and he still would have been like, left at this stop sign? Okay. We end up at a Taco Bell, which is fine. I'm like, dine in or drive through, And he's like, drive through, And I'm like, great, he has a plan. We get to the speaker and he just leans over and goes, I would like 100 hard shell tacos. Thank you. <laughs> We get to the window. He does one of these numbers. I'm like, did you forget your wallet? He's like, yeah. I was like, do you need me to pay? He's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I buy the 100 tacos and I'm like, where to next? And he goes back to my house. And I was like, okay, this is happening. I'm just, I'm committed to this now. It's happening. We get to his house, we walk in, his dad is on the couch. I'm like, he lives with his dad, it's fine. The hoops I am teleporting through to convince myself that this decision that I have made is okay is just wild. Walk past his dad into the kitchen. He just starts emptying the boxes of tacos, just releasing them onto the table. Puts two chairs at the table, sits down, and he just screams at the top of his lungs, let's feast. <laughs> I am just calmly unwrapping my taco and taking a bite of it. We are eating hard shell tacos in complete silence. You can hear both of us chewing. It's absolute chaos. The dad walks up, grabs a taco. There's a hundred of them. We have so many to spare. He's eating over us, just like standing, doesn't sit, stands right next to the table, crunches, mouthful. He just looks at me and he goes, do you want to see my studio? And I was like, I have never wanted to see anything less in my entire life. It was that moment that I decided this date was completely over or else I was gonna be killed, 100%. I am now just like collecting the tacos because I paid for them. I walk out with boxes of tacos in my purse. I look back and I was like, thank you for this experience. You will never hear from me again. <laughs> yeah. Wow, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you for going on that journey with me. <laughs> so uh, it's pretty oh obvious God. this girl likes red flags. Right? <laughs> right? We can go ahead and confirm that. She was like, I hey, mean, this is good content. <laughs> we can yeah, you know, and that. part of me, when I, when I hear bizarre stories like that, I'm like, this has to be made up. And then I second guess myself, and I'm like, how the fuck could you even make something like that up? How could you make that up? 
like the dad standing over them, the let's feast. How do you even make it up? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm going to say let's feast as many times as I can uh, recently when I'm, when I'm eating. That's for sure. Um, uh, Brian, let's feast on some uh, holler pole answers. Yeah. Please. Yeah, let's move on to the next part of the show. So, uh, Exclaim Records, uh, we want you guys to be here throughout all of this, and feel free to uh, give your two cents for all this. Yeah. We're going to drag you along with us. We're going to open up some holler polls. We want to hear your answers as well. Send your dick pics to Gracie at officialholler.com. That's right. You can go to officialholler.com for all of your holler needs. Listen to every <laughs> single episode that we've got. Check it all out on YouTube. All that good stuff. You can hit all of our stuff up. Roman's asking, am I drinking tea? Or me? Double B? It's the closest Double damn thing, maybe, to pee that you can drink <laughs> without a dick <laughs> near your mouth. Mm. Anyway, uh, officialr.com, but I also want to shout out uh, Exclaim Info right here. You, should, you can hit them up on Twitter at Exclaim Rex. That's R E C S. Uh, they have a Facebook. It's facebook.com slash Exclaim Records. And they also have a pa Patreon. Is that how you say it? Pa pa Patreon. Uh, Patreon. Patreon. You can hit them up at patreon.com slash exclaim records. The New England yeah. Patreons. Hey, uh, somebody oh, was... We don't talk about that here. No, no, no. I'm on your podcast, but we don't talk that here. <laughs> <laughs> what was on the screen there? What, what came up? That oh, we I'll bring it back. It's uh, Jasper. It's our buddy Jasper. We're done talking about the chat. The, talking about the worst <laughs> date that he's ever been on. Uh, my worst date was at Apple Best. Drank too many $1 margs and puked on my date, who was 67 years old and a veteran. Thank you, Jasper. That's wonderful. That was also their worst date, too, Jasper. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Okay. I'm all so done with that. We sent some poll questions out to Holler Nation. Brian, I believe you get to go first this week since you've been doing everything first. The cool. Sounds good. And all that um, stuff. So I, mine, mine's short and sweet and simple. I want you guys to go to your Amazon shopping cart right now, and I want you to tell me how much it's worth. If someone were to buy your Amazon shopping cart, what would it cost them right now? Even if it's $0, I want to hear, and I want to hear why. So uh, first, we're going to let Holler Nation uh, yell at us, and uh, then we will all go around and give our answers. So let's kick this thing off okay. with... Abby, this is Abigail. Sweat. She sent and me man, a TikTok. That is not for the show. This next TikTok. one is from Rachel. That is Rachel! that one, not to be confused with. This is for Rachel, you big, fat, white, nasty, smelling. <laughs> you would be paying zero, I said zero, doll hairs, because I'm a grown-ass woman and I buy what I want. Nice. There, there you go. She just she puts it in the cart. She buys is what she's saying. Uh, Jeremy Ray, what's up? He says it seems like there's a stripper in my house right now, and there's money flung around. So sometimes, guys, we get snaps that just randomly pop into the show. So we're just gonna keep blowing through these. This next one comes from Miranda. First story time, and then we'll get to my total on my cart. So I used to just add things all willy nilly to my cart on Amazon. You know, oh, I like that. Let's add. Oh, I like that. Let's add with no intention of purchasing it right at that moment. Well, then I decided I really wanted something and, you know, I wasn't really paying attention. I added it to my cart and then I was like, check out. And then turns out I bought like five things. Mm -hmm. So no, I don't do that anymore. I use lists. You have your wish list and you can make other lists. <sighs> anyway, with that being said, right now I'm unpacking my house. So I have random things in there that I need for my house. So I do actually, we have $45.97 worth of things in my cart right now. But that's not normal. <laughs> that's not <Yeah>. normal. <laughs> I, uh, I, I was in such agreement with her story. I didn't know she was going to flip it on me at the end. But everything she said, I was like, that's exactly what I do. And that's also what birthed this question. Because the, the other night I was laying in bed, I, I added a couple things to my cart. And then I'm like, I'm not going to fucking buy these. Why did I even add them? Because I, I just added them to like view them later. And I'm like, this is toxic. Why do I do this? Why do I do this yeah. to myself? So a, a secret is I have not even went to my Amazon cart and look, I don't even know what my answer is. I'm going to do it live on the show and it's going to be ugly because I do that toxic shit. I don't know why. Okay. Next <laughs> one comes from Franny coffee bean Hunley. I don't really even add things to my cart. I hit the buy now button all the time because I have zero self-control. So like, I don't really like to think about it. I don't like to dwell on it. So instead of letting it sit in my cart and thinking about it, like, mm, do I need it? I just swipe by now and I'm done with it. So there's nothing in my cart. 
<laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of answers. I thank you for your input. Franny Coffee Bean Hunley, we miss you. Uh, this one comes from Pluto. This is a holler listener out of Chicago. So, guys, this is a good uh, point for me. And, you know, I said this earlier, but I just want to reiterate, we've got listeners from all over. We've got we've got West Coast, East Coast. We've got uh, we've got Norway sometimes in here. We, we're worldwide. So, like, oh, yeah. if you guys if you guys say shit like, uh, you know, so and so from this area, they're not going to know anything that you're fucking talking about. Just FYI. So just keep that in mind when you're telling any kind of stories on the show. Um, this one is Pluto out of Chicago. See what she says. Okay, so I actually really want to answer this one. So I usually don't use Amazon because, like, my boyfriend uses it all the time, all the time. So, like, he'd be putting shit in his cart for me. So, like, his shopping cart is probably, honestly, about, like, $400 for me. Um, Because, like, I got a shadow box in there for my pins and then there's like a hundred dollar uv light that i like need in my life like it's just a bunch of dumb bullshit i'll probably never ever get but it's close to 400 500 dollars nice brights fucking dick but anyway i don't use amazon because i know i would be in trouble often because i would be broke often so there's that I love that I showed that she was driving so that you guys could get the, really the full effect of the audio. Nice bright, you fucking dick. In the oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. This Don't one comes vlog and drive, me. people, by the way. This is a public service announcement. Don't vlog right. and drive. Maybe maybe she was doing some kind of hands-free thing. Maybe she was wearing like a, like Four Blues people. Traveler, like wearing the harmonica, but wearing the phone and driving. You know what I mean? Yeah, because <laughs> that would be just as safe or safer, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, this next one comes from Lindsay. Lindsay is traveling okay. on an airplane, is, on a jet. Yeah, I was going to say, is she directing airplane traffic? Is what it looked like. <laughs> well, it sounded like. Jet. Yeah, that was like a horror <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was a yeah. horror film. He has the Blair Witch Project, but it's holler answers. Yeah. <laughs> it's just in time for Halloween. <laughs> are you, Lindsay, are you safe? Blink twice if you need us. We yes. will stop the show. Uh, this this last answer on Snapchat, uh, I will get to Facebook a second round. We'll go through a couple rounds of this, guys. Uh, this last one on Snapchat comes from Mel, and Mel is live in the chat right now. Um, Mel says, that would be a big zero dollar. I don't really buy a whole lot on Amazon, surprisingly. I'm just a simple gal with simple needs. And hey, nothing wrong with that. That's actually uh, <laughs> much less toxic than what I do to myself, Mel, as I'm about to pull up my answer here. I don't even want to know what the answer is. Can't be good, guys. Can't be good. Pulling it up right now. I can tell you this. It says it has 22 items in it. That's not good. It's not a good start. Damn. So 22 items. Oh, my God. I, this is worse than what I thought. What the fuck is in here? I'm scared of my own self right now. Go through it. Go through the list. Man. What have I just done? Go through the list, dude. Do it. Oh, my God. $2,249.80. Fuck. Why? Why is I don't know. I don't know. Well, you got a I don't know. I guys, I have a problem. Help! I'm blinking. Help! That's what exclaims for. Oh, uh, ordering a uh, an oven range what? or something? <laughs> no, oh, dude. What? No, I'm what ordering the, 22. I don't even know what the most expensive item in your cart is. That's right a now. great question. I Okay. I would really like for it to be like just like eleven hundred of some like ten dollar item or some shit like that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just I need, I need an entire uh, mass bad, obviously. The, the oh, talk, the partial talk. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if my if my Amazon account ever gets hacked, I don't think they'll believe me if I call in. <laughs> yeah, like I yeah. I am that guy from that day. It's a hundred tacos. It's me. Um, the Jesus. most expensive thing, the most expensive thing in here is five hundred and nine dollars, and it is a utility cart that can hook to my riding lawnmower that I can drive uh, things around. Like you know, like I was moving like landscaping rocks and shit like that. Well, I didn't buy this, so I ended up moving the rocks with a wheelbarrow. That shit sucked. Hurt my back. Yeah. Wish I would have bought this cart for five hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Somebody else. All right. go. Damn. I'll go. Um, wagon. I, I do what Miranda does. I put everything in lists and I separate them into the things that like. I, but I, I went ahead and just took everything that was in all my lists and I put them all in a cart to see how much it would end up being. And if I were to buy everything on my list in, in one one 
go, it would be about $377.16. And I'm going to go through what they are. And it is a, a mini outdoor pr movie projector. That sounds uh, fun. Ooh, that's cool. An electric tea kettle. Dude, uh, those are a great. whole bunch of books. Uh, Wine Dot Bound by George T. Arnold. Memoirs and Misinformation <laughs> by Jim Carrey. Um, every book by Gore Vidal. I don't uh, the uh, Binging with Babish cookbook, um, all of the uh, pocket references for coding, let's see, regular expression, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, uh, and then a, a wireless mechanical keyboard. I don't know oh, why, yeah. but I thought you just said wireless spaghetti. I don't know why. And, and, and finally, a wireless spaghetti. And wire, um, finally, some wireless spaghetti. Uh, Sophie says, I thought my total was bad, but Brian's makes me feel much better. Mel, this is important. Mel says, how long do I have till trivia? Because she likes to win the camo trivia. Mel, you've got like 35 minutes. I think you can make it to the store and back. I think you should go now. you got at least 35 minutes. Uh, and yeah. by the way, Susan, a.k.a. Poop Butt on Snapchat, um, she says, I'm late. But hey, y'all, guess what? Guess what, Susie? I already gave um, Lo-Fi DIY Records a shout out. These are your boys. Exclaim Records. Who oh, they? Th man. So this is this is this is the head of uh, Lo-Fi guys. This is who you guys followed earlier. Oh, um, we talked about we talked about Lo-Fi, Susie. You missed it. Okay. Anyway, JD, we're, we're you excited. Uh, no, that's it. That's three hundred and seventy-seven dollars worth of damn shit. Um, nice. Do y'all want to go through yours, uh, Gracie? You? Yeah. She's working on it right now. Sorry, I was not prepared. One hundred and nineteen dollars and eighty-seven cents. I'm proud of you, Gracie. That's good. Yeah. Well, a lot of it's from Moria. So it's like books and a nice watercolor set and two um, naughty dog masks for my dogs whenever they go to the groomer because they're shitheads. <laughs> oh, and some furniture pads. Okay. That's about it. So I got for you guys. Uh, Jasper uh, has says, uh, ex exclaim. Records. I love the dolphins too bad. These exotic animals, but I still love him just fine. I love him just fine too. So I'm glad we can both look past that. He doesn't look Exclaim uh, your Amazon shopping cart. What's it look like? Uh, you go first. Oh, mine looks like zero because I'm poor. Same. <laughs> it's a resounding exclaim you can, answer. You can still dream. You know, you can still like punish yourself by adding them. Well, I'm old goose. I am. It's never on like a, like Amazon where I'm like putting my stuff. It's usually on like various like different like clothes apps. Like I I got like a hundred dollar pair of shoes on like a Nike app, and then I got like something on Adidas or something like that. But I think that's all. The the thing that you want to look at with me is probably my Discogs want list. Oh, <laughs> mine's pretty hefty on that too. But I haven't touched that in a while. That's, that's a bad. That's disgusting. I stay away. That makes sense. Nowadays. It's work. Well, there you go. So uh, let me pour this beer and then we'll move on to mine. Actually, I'll just go ahead and tell you what my poll uh, question was for everybody. Uh, and this is just, you know, we're going to hang out in fantasy land for a little bit. Um, I asked everyone, and we can go around the table here first, and then we'll uh, get on to everybody else. But uh, guess what? Congratulations. You just won $10 million. It's now you have $10 million in your primary account. Boom. It's just happened. What are the first things that you do? After this ten million dollar windfall, I mean cash, bam in the pocket. What do you What do y'all do? You guys go. Some somebody go first. Who wants to take it? Who wants to take it away? Okay, uh, I'll go. step up. I'll go first. Here we go. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do. I don't know. I don't get when when people say this. I'm gonna go against them that, that say the opposite of this. I'm gonna going to quit my job instantly. Not because okay. necessarily that I even hate my job, but why the fuck would I work if I have ten million dollars in my bank account? That part of my life is over now. If I if I create something from then a business down the road, then that's fine. I'll work like that. But I'm quitting my average Joe job. That part's done. Um, I'm gonna pay off all of my debts and my family's debts. And maybe those who are closest to me, those kind of debts are gone. And then before I go doing any kind of other crazy shit, which is, you know, start going on trips is the obvious and things like that. I like to travel. Um, I need to donate just a little bit to make myself feel okay about all this before I go fucking crazy. So, like, um, I just watched something recently on on St. Jude, and they've got me right now as far as, as where I want my money to go. So I would donate a little bit to St. Jude, and then that would be my immediate things. But num the number one answer, dude, quit my job. That's really it. I'm glad that you dove right into that because a lot of people, I think, which, you know, a lot of people would say like, you know, you know, I actually like my job, so I'm going to keep it. 
yeah, you know, you're probably lying to yourself. You'd you're lying, cool. dude. That's not true. <laughs> uh, Gracie, what would you do? $10 million windfall. Bam. Right in your primary account. Well, I would work part time because I really, really, really want to be a stay at home mom. But I honestly think I would just get bored. I'm not going to lie to you. I just don't have many hobbies. Congratulations. <laughs> you boys are my hobby. Um, I probably honestly work part time, pay off my house, buy another house. No, no, I would build my own house exactly the way I want it. There you That's go. it. And then okay. I don't know, find an investment banker and That's donate, that, yeah. obviously, something yeah. somewhere. You guys would be it's very been Till we down yonder on the Chattahoochee. It gets hotter than a hoochie coochie. I'm, I'm going to go next, I guess, real quick. Then we'll go to the exclaim boys. But uh, um, I I think we're all on a lot of the same pages here. $10 million, I would take half of it and put it in uh, savings and investments. So like savings accounts and money mutual funds and shit like that. Um, do that. Literally, bam, half of it. So $5 million, boom. I don't even see it. It's like $5 million, go away. But then I would take their other $5 million, half of that, so $2.5 million, straight to donations i would probably split them up between something like you know saint jude or i preferably uh i really really uh appreciate the facing hunger food bank um and uh also feeding america the the national uh, network of food banks so i'd probably give a lot to them uh because that's that's something that hits people directly at home and that's something that's just you get big bang for your buck for that uh and then the other two and a half million i would fucking straight up ball i would ball I'm, I'm talking, I would buy two or three houses. Uh, you know, not the, not, that's not, a, I mean, two and a half million is a good chunk of money, but you can buy a few pieces of property with that and still have a bunch left over. I would fucking party my ass off, Tony Stark style. It'd be great. I would uh, be with you for at least like a handful of those nights. It's a guarantee. I would have I'm to be sure, with you, man. I am definitely sure of it. I'm definitely sure of it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's my, that's my deal right there. Oh, Jasper's back in the house and he says, I just tried to gee tee my penis out, but I tripped and hit my head on the coffee table and got my left foot caught in a bear trap. God bless Jasper this evening. Uh, we've also got Rome out there that says, my brother sneezed in my mouth. Um, you might want to get that checked out. This is a great opportunity to say we are proudly powered by Camo Complete Energy. <laughs> and if you were listening earlier, if you were listening earlier, we would tell you to share this live. That's a hell of a segue. We can, you can make them up out of thin air. That's what's so cool. Um, if you would share this live video to your Facebook wall, we would like to mail you a variety pack for free. You have to share it to your Facebook wall right now, the live video, and you have to DM us your mailing address. You can't forget to do that part. Keep us organized and we'll get this stuff out to you. Um, we're going to give you another chance to win camo, uh, complete energy at the very end of the show. We're going to do, are you smarter than a fifth grader trivia? And everybody's excited for that. But first we're going to keep blasting through all of our holler answers, of course. Yeah. Which by the way, exclaim, let us know, what would you do? I mean, you can either answer as yourselves personally, or like if exclaim got 10 million buck fucking like investment from some dude, some venture capitalist was like, here, exclaim $10 million. What's up? Up to you. I, however you want to answer. Answer your answer, and then I'll. All I'll right. Bam, um, bam, bam, bam. So, brief, brief uh, thing here. I have this awesome uh, air freshener because you played the Chattahoochee song earlier. Hell yeah! Uh, it it smells, like on the smells like grape snow cone. Smells like what? Grape snow cone because he talks about grape snow cones in of the song. Of course. Which I, that's those are wonderful lines in that song. Uh, it's it's about knowing your your uh, limits and knowing yes. your space and giving women yeah. space, respecting boundaries, man. Respecting boundaries. She, uh, I was willing, but she wasn't ready, so I settled for a burger and a grape snow cone. Sometimes it's going to be a burger and grape snow cone night. Well, you and know, that's okay. In your, yeah. your own in your own right hand, baby. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all right, ten million dollars. What's up? Okay, so I get ten million dollars. Um, yeah, not to give like a boring answer, but I would like what I would think I would like to do, um, is I got to invest some of that. I work at an investment firm now and like, I never realized like the importance of stuff like that at all. Like not to feed into capitalism cause that's disgusting, but like that's, that's, that's the life that we're stuck in. So might as well 
make a nice little cushion for yourself. You got to find a, find a way through it. I mean, yeah, yeah but then fixing. you know, of course, that discogs list that's going to be taken care of. No more yeah. want list. Um, I would probably buy like a really nice like classic muscle car. Like there's probably like three or four different like options on that one. I'd have to. I mean, I probably just buy them all. I mean, I got ten million dollars, so yeah. why not? Yeah. Um, and then I gotta pay off student loans. Okay, <laughs> I'll do that. No, keep it. Just, yeah. just don't even give it to yeah. me. I'm a ten, million, I'm a ten yeah, millionaire. So this is mine. I'm a ten millionaire. In debt. <laughs> You have default on your loans just as the slap right back to the yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like, um, Bring, yeah. Yeah, bless up the system from within. Yeah, yeah. exactly. There you go. And um, cool. yeah, I like the idea, you know, of charity, of giving back. Yeah. Um, I would probably, I, mean, I don't have anything specific in mind, but um, something to do with like homelessness. That's, that's the issue that like bothers me a lot. And so that's something that I would probably give a, a good chunk of change too. Other than that, yeah, like JD said, just ball out, man. Like just ball. buy whatever. Like why not? You only Nothing live wrong once. With that. Just have some fucking just gets get nasty with it. Mason, what about Biff, you? Biff. Uh for mine, uh I'm giving uh none of mine to anybody else but me. It's it's all <laughs> no. it's all mine. I'm quitting my job. I'm getting out of there. I'm getting a Lamborghini Countach. I'm fucking living life. Dude, in the get those Baja best. trucks. Remember yeah, I'm going to fucking trucks. buy a load of Baja trucks for me and the fellas, and we're taking them out to Arizona. Um, I'm going to buy an RV and rip off that Channel 5, dude. Um, and I'm I'm just living my best life. I'm liking it. And then okay. I'm going to keep making money from all that shit, and then that's going to go to charity and all that. But that $10 million, okay. that's mine. I earned that. Yeah, you earned it. Yes, you earned it by playing the lottery. All right. Gonna... That's a reference in the most recent uh, Rister or Mr. Awful song. Yeah, that that's in there. Sucking the suck on chili, chili dogs. dogs. The taste yeah, of I've all, I've said this on a couple other shows, but uh, it was something that uh, Brandon Mooney had told me. He said that uh, when he was on tour with the uh, with the boys and the horse traders, that he had heard somebody when they would go. Somebody would say, sucking on chili dogs outside of Tasty Freeze. And then the other person would say, the milkman, the paper boy, even in TV. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Brandon Mooney for that one. I think we might even have those clips on the board, but I, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to shout out to a couple of answers from here, and then we'll move on to the next little uh, segment. Um, here's a couple of answers here from Facebook. Uh, Dennis right here, his first answer is, hire a great investment banker. That makes sense. That's the most like you know, white person thing you can do. I guess that's fine. Uh, Mel, someone that says I would send money to my mom and sisters, pay off my house, I donate to my favorite charities, pay off every all of my debts, start a savings account for my son. That's nice. Buy and then buy a cabin in the woods away from all the dumbasses. <laughs> uh, Gracie's mom Dallas is coming and says donate to animal rescue. That's what's up. That's cool. Uh, Michael comes in, pay off everything I owe. I'd move my mother to a smaller house with no stairs. I hire a crew to go through her mess. Uh, she's a hoarder, is what he says. Uh, I'd get a lawyer or accountant because I'm going to have uh, easy access to that much money. I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sarah says, I'd sign the check. I guess she's meaning like endorse it. Like if you was a Kim Quite Dior literally. Director. She went literally, yeah. I'm going to be like, yeah, if you gave me the check, I'd need to make sure I can use it. Yeah, got to go. Uh, Gracie's Nathan says, I'd pay off my house and buy a new house in the country. Set my old house up for rent. Also, a lot of guns and ammo. The guns and ammo, though. I buy a new more. wife. He's going to buy a new wife. <laughs> I was just seeing if you're paying he attention. Probably, he like, we need a prenup now. <laughs> can, can we still get one of those? That's what he would say. Also, I'll save the rest of my answers for that. I think we need to move on to the next segment, which we all know what it is, right? You know what I'm saying. Let's do yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Almost almost forgot about it, by the way, but how could I? Here we go. Shots five. Shots five. Shots five. My money long. Now it's brown.
It's Shots Fired. This is the tar- part of the show where we drink and bitch. That's it. <laughs> we do. We take a shot against something while we take a shot of something. I have run out of liquor, so I'm just going to kill a whole beer. Um, Brian, you want to go first, dude? I th- sure. You know, I'm going to drink this bourbon right here in my hand. Hey, I've got a challenge for us, guys, because we are at the 55-minute mark, and we've got, we've got quite a few uh, – viewers right now and i want these people to try to win some trivia they're waiting to get to the trivia let's try to do our shots fired 30 seconds each okay let's because you're okay we're going to give away some camo complete energy uh for trivia we want you guys to stick around are you smarter than a fifth grader okay shots fired um i'm gonna fire my shots against the airport prices i think that airport prices of like food and things like that should be illegal how the fuck do they get away with that this is where capitalism starts to suck a little bit like there's been a few times where I'm in an airport, dude, and I'm like, like I've got like a three-hour layover, and it's like freezing, and I'm and I was on a red eye, I'm jet lagged, I need a blanket to cover up, and like you know maybe like a a, a snack, and I go over to grab those two items, and I'm like fifty-five dollars deep. Why the fuck is that a thing? That's not fair. It should be illegal to jack the prices up that much. Um, fuck airport prices. That's it. Pump, pump, pump. Uh, okay, my shots fired is uh, that's. Pre- I've only taken one drink of this. So the whole beer is going to work. Um, okay, my shots fired. I'm taking a shot against dating apps. Uh, um, already in the beginning of the show, we played that horrible date that that uh, red flag lady uh, <laughs> uh, really um, went on. Uh, really, I just against dating apps. I think specifically because I'm a dude. <clears throat> a dude's experience with dating apps is absolutely different than a lady's experience from a dating app uh in my experience at least the dates i've gotten from them have either been disasters or turned into something horrible um i mean honestly yeah. who's the common denominator in that though Jason? <laughs> well i can i can see i can see your your uh, logic there and uh, you're not very wrong <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I love you, JD. <laughs> uh, but uh, no. The, also, I just think the concept of them is kind of fucked up to uh, like to commoditize that concept of something that's like kind of important in human life is like that connection that we seek romantically with a partner uh, or multiple partners if you're a polygamist, whatever. Uh, but like, <laughs> but you know, uh, that's something you're adding. You're you adding humans to your Amazon shopping that. cart. You can't codify that and turn it into this thing where, because there is more than just this, I see your face and, oh, we should have, a, you know, we should fuck. That, I mean, that's great, too. That uh, that already happens, but that already happens like clubs. I don't know. I'm not going on tangents. Fuck dating apps. Yeah. Um, they're very stupid. Um, don't use them, everybody. Um, and um, if you do see me on one, uh, swipe. Yeah, swipe right. <laughs> if you see JD on a dating app, please add him to your uh, dating app shopping cart. And uh, he was shot. Uh, damn. Right. Gracie, your turn. Ugh. My turn. You guys, I don't know. You guys might understand this because, or you might not. Anyway, the point is, my shots fired is for boys who are get girlfriends and then drop you because they're dickheads. You have this really great relationship, you're besties, you text every day, you talk every day, blah, 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 and they get a girlfriend, and then you don't even exist. And I'm just like, bro, I didn't love you romantically, but I thought we were in love as friends, and then you just draw me? It's just mean. Shots fired, hit the damn button. By the way, Miranda out there says, I've never had any positive experiences from dating apps. And ladies and gentlemen, this is my girlfriend who I met on a dating app. So there you go. <laughs> I didn't say it was well, positive. I just said for dating. That just explains <laughs> it all, man. Yeah. Uh, all I right. Uh, Mason or Josh, either one of you want to want to go for you with something you want to kind of bitch about and, and uh, drink some okay. something to it? Yeah, uh, I my shots fired is for the fucking old cranky ass people who come in as retail customers yeah. and they want to take all their aggression and frustrations out on the retail workers. Yeah, because those people are the literal worst, and yeah. they should just go to a hole and all bitch and moan at each other. I'm sick of it. <laughs> cool. I, will, I will also yeah. uh, drink a shot to that one right there, man. Yeah, I wish I had a, a drink. 
<laughs> Word, no, that's fine. That's good. Josh, how about for you? How about you, man? Something. Yeah. Okay. So this show? might be a little like more different or off the wall, but um, I want to bitch about people who live nowhere near the goddamn ocean, but they have a fucking salt life sticker on their car. <laughs> You're not in fucking central Ohio living any kind of goddamn salt life. You stupid motherfucker. Like you go to a fuck, you live on a goddamn dirt road. Hey, you know what? Salt life, you can't. They you, went to Myrtle Beach every summer. Yeah, right. I mean, hey. yeah, maybe you, maybe, maybe you live the salt life two or three weeks out of the year, Ethel, but you're not living a guy named Salt Life. You're not. <laughs> they live what the salt block a- life. They got a salt block out in yeah, there. Yeah, for the well, for the yeah, cows out there, that. they're curing meats in the in the far in the barn, yeah. Yeah. and they use a lot of salt for that. Maybe that's what it is. You use a lot of salt. Yeah, I, mean, salt maybe. I don't. I don't. I use quite a bit of salt. I don't but. mean to assume. All right, <laughs> shots. <fired. laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to take this opportunity to to blast through a few of my answers on Holler Live Facebook because those Holler listeners deserve to be read as well. And then we're getting right into Are You Smarter Than Fifth Grader trivia. We're going to give away some Camo Complete Energy, so hang in there. Two more minutes. Here we go. Um, By the way, the Holler poll that I sent out was uh, tell me the value of your Amazon shopping cart right now. Um, Mo says $0 because fuck Bezos. Um, Miranda says... $384 $384 because my kids are so bougie. Sophie says $568. Uh, Susie says $53 and it's all pet hair removal tools. Laugh my ass off. <laughs> um, Patrick Rail says nothing, but my save for later list is full of stuff that I already bought. I'm just too lazy to remove them. Kyle, the jester says $0, but I use wish lists like a civilized person. I put things oh. in my cart when I buy them. <laughs> I, you know, oh. I follow. It made sense. But nonetheless, here I am. Um, Sarah says, $30. Do I buy the card game, do or drink? I'm going to say yes. I'm saying that yes. right now. Do that. Do it. Yes, live on the show. Um, <laughs> oh, you're Justin, responding. Justin, Mur- <laughs> Justin Murdoch says, $279.84. Uh, Lauren gives us a screenshot of hers. She says it's all office supplies and it's $104. Hillary says $0, but I did just get lunch at Whole Foods, so I guess you can call that $12. Um, Corey says, I've got some Halloween costumes in there, so mine's like $250. Uh, Ethan said, ha ha, dear God. Uh, Ashley says $0 right now because I don't need anything, but if anyone wants to buy me anything, holler. <laughs> hey. Holler, holler. Uh, and then Dallas uh, says zero dollars, and that's all my holler answers for this evening. Boom, boom, bam! Wonderful, fantastic. You got any more hey, answers, everybody. Rick and JD? Hey, everybody! Exclaim records! Check them out. That's what I, that's what I was that's what I wanted to say. Okay, gotcha. Well, then let's segue into giving away some camo complete energy and getting the fuck out of here. Hey, by the way, fucking Tears for Fears releasing a new album. I'm I'm there. I was talking to my friend Jeff about that the other day. Hell yeah. yeah. Tears for Fears and uh, Soft Cell released a single today, too. It's a big day. Holy shit. The Tame of Love people. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, right. All right. Fuck yeah. Hey, Tears for Fears and Drinking Beers, baby. Absolutely. Gracie, you better write that down. (laughs) Tears for Fears and Drinking (laughs) Beers and fucking hashtag Salt Life. Here we go. Hey, what do you say? What do you say we get rid of these? Let's What's get rid of some the, camo complete energy. Um, throw throw some of these to some random peeps out there while you're all watching. And this is how you do it. It's very simple. He's going to ask you a question. You put your answer in the chat. If you get three answers right before anyone else does, you get a variety pack of these wonderful things. It's great. It's awesome. All right, guys. And while he's doing that and we're waiting for those results, we'll have a little uh, combos with uh, the Exclaim Boys. Gracie is going to be the judge. She's the one that tells us when the answers roll in. Um, first one to three is going to win the camo variety pack. Make sure if you're the winner that you DM us your address, whether you think we have it or not. Just keep us organized, please. We beg you. Um, we're going to start this thing with third grade science. So pretty easy science. Here we go. Which planet is closest to the sun? Oh, yeah. I got a quick question for Exclaim Boys. What was y'all's first release as Exclaim? Uh, yeah, Jim. Jim Polak should have said it. Who's got okay. a show on Monday and Friday next week? And <laughs> Allie Fletcher is playing that show as well. Correct. <laughs> so wow. So your first <laughs> release onto your newest artist. They're all going to be 
you were creating an exclaimed sandwich at that show. That's cool. Yes. Yeah. All right, Gracie, who, who got it first? Dallas Jet. Dallas is first with right, Mercury on the board. Good job, Mom. Hey, you gotta right. be careful. Hey, I heard. Hey, guys, be careful. I heard that uh, Mercury is in Gatorade, so you might not want to drink. <laughs> That's a that hell of a name, Dallas That's Jet. Thanks so much. Yeah, that was it? That's tight. <laughs> All right, next question, Brian. What's up, dog? Let's do this. All right, let's go to fourth grade science. It's another easy one. Animals who eat only plants are called what? You are really throwing softballs, man. Well, you we really got to start them with some softballs. Um. All right, so Mason and Josh, uh, whose idea was it uh, to come up with exclaim? Was it did you um, did you just sit there with over kind of... a drink and come up with it, or what do you think? Oh, well, I think they, yeah, I guess so. Initially, and then, like I, it was something that I have been like interested in, but not really like talking much about. And then Mason was like, "Dude, do you want to start a label?" And I was like. I've been wanting to start a record label. And so it was just, yeah. Uh, Quarantine was a good time for it. Yeah. Okay. Josh could fill it all the way down in his plums and then he released. Yeah. Gracie, Mel? Who, who got the answer? Mel. Mel got the answer with herbivores, of course. Animals who only eat plants. Okay. Herbivores. 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 Jason Herbivores. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, that was really a stretch. I'm sorry. Okay, really? guys, let's go to second grade geography. Okay. What is the smallest Ooh. continent on planet Earth? What's the smallest okay. continent? Yeah, this I like. Be, it could be a little this, tricky. This could be tricky for some people. <laughs> I don't know about that for a little bit longer than I should have. Someone's like, uh, Rhode Island, fucking Hawaii. <laughs> I gotta, right. Okay. And if you guys could answer as quickly as you can, uh, Mason and Josh. Where do you see Exclaim Records in five years? Um, I mean, honestly, like, I, I think to... it could be anywhere because, like, what we've done already in six months, I mean, at least to me, is very impressive um, considering that, like, this is totally, like, you know, just like a passion project. Like, we're not getting any money for doing this like we haven't reached that step yet and it's just really like what time and what time can our artists and our friends who are involved invest and um just try to make things happen so i mean if we if we keep at this pace in five years i mean <laughs> i think we could definitely be like a solid known name yeah like, i definitely want to get more regional state, for sure i, I definitely want to get more regional too and like that's the right out attitude. Of the area that's a, a good attitude well. to have to start with gracie who got it that that's Mel. a wonderful answer. Mel. So she's on the board with two now, correct? Mel's yep. on the board with two with mm. Australia. I was thinking people were going to say Europe. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's, I'm going to have to find a heart. We, we've got someone with two. We've got to get a little bit harder here. Let me, yeah, let me let's, let's start throwing them a little, uh, a little sliders, some sliders here, dog. And then we'll end the show and I can go get some sliders from White House. <laughs> We don't have one of those. Let's do okay. let's do fifth grade geography. I don't know that Ooh. this was the hard one that I was looking for, honestly, but okay. here we Start are. Out. What measures distance north or south of the equator? Is it latitude or longitude? What measures the distance north or south of the equator? Or is it dongitude? <laughs> dongitude. That's yeah, not, dude. not the answer. Hey, I'm just adding more uh, selections so you can kind of figure it out. Um, yeah. So, exclaim! Um, do you guys have any plans to do uh, like um, music videos or any sort of those kind of things as far as like pushing that uh, for, for your artists? And yeah, yeah, thing? yeah, for sure. We have one uh, music video out for uh, Jim Polak, that first release. Uh, it was made by our buddy uh, Toby Poole. Uh, he goes by Kablonker for like his art and stuff. Um, you can find him at Kablonker on most socials and stuff like that. He's but, the guy uh, who has the woods, out. if you happen to yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, also. Got yeah. out the woods, by the way. Wonderful place. Yeah. Very chill. Good friends the way, of ours over there. The answer was um, latitude. That was... Oh, the answer was latitude. And who got it? My mom. Oh, that we got Dallas we got, Jet, we got Jet. Dallas Jet, Jen to the answers. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta have Jet noises. 
Dallas. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll make that for them. What's the, the what's the scoreboard looking like right now, Gracie? Two and two. Two and two. It must it be, I guess. On the mom. Word up. Word up. All right. Uh, next, another question, please. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me look here. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's go fourth grade language arts. I'm going to give you a sentence. So in this sentence, Sally is a very good drummer. That's the sentence. Sally is a very good drummer. What part of speech is the word very? Boom. Oh, yeah. 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 What part of speech is the word very? Yeah. Uh, can you guys tell us your next two or three shows you guys got coming up? Who's going to be on them? Where it's going to be at? That kind of thing. If, if you're if you are doing or any of your artists that are having shows, that's really more what I mean. If yeah, uh, like same shows that we mentioned earlier. Uh, Jim Pollock and Ali Fletcher are both playing uh, Monday night at the Loud. Um, and I'll be playing in Jim Pollock as well. Um, but uh, they're playing with the Shivas and Blood Lemon, and Shivas are pretty big. They're pretty cool. Um, Blood Lemon's really, are also really cool, so definitely check both of them out, and uh, if anybody can catch that show, definitely I would try to be there. We'll be and, there. Then, and then also Friday's localization, um, and we have a few people playing that. Um, everybody's got to be at localization if you're in the area. Yeah, for sure. Um, so definitely yeah, do not that's miss a big, that. That's a big deal. That's a uh, friend of the pod and uh, – that kind of thing. It's a pop-up show. It happens every year. Is this their official second one or third uh, one? This is fourth, I think. Third or fourth. Damn. Uh, okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Because the first uh, one was at uh, Heritage Station. The second one was at the Progress House. And I think the third one was at West Edge. So this okay, is the fourth. Yeah. 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 This yeah, will be. Right. And so this one will be also at West Edge, which is yep. in uh, Westmoreland and um, yeah. Huntington right area. The park. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. That's going to be sick. Um, uh, also, a friend of the pod, Shalem, is debuting his music video for Sugar Water. That's going to yeah. be sick. Yep. We also, Al, actually, speaking of the music video question, we actually have a music video uh, debuting at that as well uh, for Mr. Oh, Alfred. wow, shit. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, that's, that's good. Yes. We got we to gotta bookmark that in our brain right there. Hey, uh, yeah. the correct answer was adverb, by the way. Who got it? Sophie. Sophie on the board. So hey. now what's the score? Mel and Mom, two. Sophie, one. Sophie's okay. making the comeback. Okay. Gonna All right. Going. We're going to go back to geography. We're in fourth grade. I want you to tell me what two countries does the Gulf of Mexico border? There's two countries that it borders. What are they? The Gulf of Mexico. Well, that's, I mean, kind of half the answer. You're beautiful. <laughs> that's the question. Uh, okay. China. Uh, there, it, that, I don't think that's the answer. Um, so, uh, are there any other kind of things that we need to know that Exclaim could be working on um, coming up? Anything like that? Anything you guys want to shout out? Um, um, yeah. So, you know, we, we say we're Exclaim Records, but we don't just do music. Um, we actually have a podcast. Um, it's the Unpetty Pod um, with our friends um, Rebecca and Lucas. And they touch on a lot of different things. There's a little. Um, social commentary, they talk a little politics, a lot of pop culture, just kind of things that they're interested in and like, um, you know, their mental health struggles while living in Appalachia, which is a very underserved area for mental health resources mm -hmm. and just kind of like how they cope and stuff. And, um, we have two episodes up right now and they crack me up. Like I personally think both of them are it's hilarious really people. Um, and you know, the subject matter is a lot of current event stuff too. So I think it's pretty interesting. You should check it out. It's on Spotify, the Unpetty Pod. Yep. Word. How Shouts. nice is it? Shouts. How nice is it to be a guest on a podcast and not have to run the show? Because I've done that a couple of times and I've just been like, ah, oh, I get to just lay back and be myself. Like, I don't know. Not that I don't enjoy it, but it just brings another level right. of stress, I guess. Well, I mean, honestly, I uh, I offloaded that burden onto our buddy who's sitting over here. He's like, there's never stress. Aiden. Yeah, yeah. There's never <laughs> I was like, this is too much. Sexy Take producer this. Aiden, you do. Okay. Everything. Shout out producer Aiden, also AKA Danny Gold. <laughs> yes, that's a good shout out. That's a, they, th those people have to exist. Uh, Gracie, the oh, correct yeah. answer, obviously Mexico and the United States. Who got it? Yeah, uh, my mom, Dallas. Dallas. Whoa. So is that our winner? winner? Our winner. That's our winner. Well, we're down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Y'all beautiful. 
BF Thank you guys so much for playing along. Thank you, Exclaim Records, for being here this evening. Uh, you guys were awesome. We look forward to our, all the uh, unique artists that you're bringing to the table. I know that that's what I like about you guys mm -hmm. because indie music is my favorite music. So I like all the weird. Bring me the weird all fucking day. Camo completely. Oh, we got, got, weird. Loads. We got loads yeah. of weird. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, if I see you guys out, we got to We ha definitely have to have a beer, if not a shot and a oh, beer. For sure. and yeah, for beer. Sure, man. Absolutely. Yeah. I look forward to that. Um, Camo Complete Energy, uh, along with their CBD products, uh, we are proudly powered by them. We thank them so much. Um, Holler Nation, we'll be back next week. We'll do it again. And um, that's that's really all I've got for that's you, JD. Really you got anything? It. I don't think there's anything else to do. I have a question. Bunch... Oh, hey. Go ahead. Do you Crazy. like cats? Huh? What was silence. that? Dead silence. Are they no. alive over there? You say cats? I thought she cats, said cats, you know. I thought she said hats. Pet cats? cats? Where? Are you saying paps? You know, like a pet cat. <laughs> you say uh, paps? Do I like paps? Blue ribbon? <laughs> if it's PBR, yeah. yes. If it's cats, oh. no. <laughs> no, this question's for Mason, not for you. This is for me? What? What? what yeah. I, so, wait, did you say, do I like cats? Cats, you know, like meow, cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, like cats. Yeah, cat. sure. yeah. I used to have okay. a pet cat. I'm just nothing. I'm just being mean to one of my friends. Sorry. Is that it? Is that's, that the, it? That's that's it. The, that's the, wait. That, okay. Do you believe in aliens? <laughs> no, no. Too what late in the show. Too late. Too late. Yeah. Okay, hit the buttons, Brian. I'm sorry. Guys, I'm gonna jam a bunch of weird Thank buttons. Thank you so much, Mason and Josh, for coming to the show. Check them hey, out. It's Serge oh, hey, it's Serge Tankin. Hey, Serge Tankin in the house. Hey. Hey. Oh, Little Serge Tankin. Oh, boy. Everybody, go to facebookcom Patreon. Petri how do you say it? Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. Patreon. Don't be a buff angel or a buffer angel. Oh, <laughs> don't be a buff angel or a buffer angel at uh, patreon.com slash exclaim records. Follow them on Twitter at exclaim rex, R E C S. Uh, check out camoenergy.com. Go to fishholler.com for all your all our needs. I'm going to kill the rest of this beer. Brian, hit a bunch of weird mix. Thanks, guys. Great success. You got mail. Hot pockets. Hey, baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and... Barbie, let's go party. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Diabetes. All right, guys, we'll see you guys Boom, later. Boom, shakalaka! <laughs> Bye, everybody.